Welcome to our five on five. Pleased to welcome back Gary Leeming with ODOT. Good to see you, sir. Thanks for coming. Craig. Craig. So we got a lot to talk about, a lot, a lot of work going on this summer for you guys, but I, I want to start with the Expressway. How's it going so far? So the Rogue Valley Expressway opened on May 1st, around midnight, and it, it's getting great reviews. Uh, people are using it. Uh, this is the expressway between uh, I-5 at exit 30 all the way up towards uh, White City. So it cuts about five minutes off of, the, of, of, a, of a trip on Crater Lake Highway. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's saving time, it's saving money, and from what I'm hearing, everybody likes it. Yeah, hopefully relieving congestion on 62 yes, at the same and safety, time. And improving safety, yes. Are you guys now hands off onto the next, or is there still little things being done with this? Yeah, there's, some, uh, there's what we call punch list items on it. There's some signing that we're doing on Agate uh, Road. Uh, and some other minor, minor things. But for the most part, the, the, the project's done. Do you guys have any, any, any idea if, is it, is it, as far as the numbers go, is it meeting expectations, you know, as far as the amount of people driving on it each day? Yeah, we figured there'd be about, a, about 30% of the traffic is just trying to get through the corridor in, in that configuration. Uh, of course, if you look at the, the, the big picture of what we were looking at for the expressway uh, between I-5 all the way up north of the Veterans Administration domiciliary, uh, we were looking at maybe about half. But so for this smaller iteration, this what we call the Jobs and Transportation Act portion, it's it's meeting the expectation of about 30%. Okay, and uh, you guys are starting again work uh, soon on the viaduct, the Medford viaduct. Uh, that's something you guys kind of seem to almost always be working on. Right, so, so last year we had a contractor up uh, repairing the deck. Um, and they only got to the southbound lanes. And they also included the Barnett Road Bridge uh, as well in that. Yeah. So they didn't do the northbound lanes. They'll be back this summer working at night, uh, repairing the deck on the northbound lanes. So, so you'll, see some, uh, you'll see lane closures um, at night uh, up there, some reduced speed limits. Sure. Uh, state police will be up there. And so the tolerances for workers and active traffic is is we're talking just maybe a foot or two. So yeah, that's we're, very dangerous. Exactly, and so in in Oregon we have uh, we average about um, more, nearly 600 work zone crashes a year, which is a phenomenal amount. And so our you know our contractors, our inspectors, that's their office. They're working up there. So really, mm -hmm. it's incumbent on drivers. Please slow down. Uh, pay attention to what's going on. Orange is your cue to uh, pay extra attention because we are working on the road. This is prime time for road work, the summertime, not only on the state highway system, but also the city and the, and the county systems as well. Okay, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. Much more in just a moment, stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Gary Leeming from ODOT. So we're talking about the viaduct work you guys are doing. Uh, also doing some stuff between Ashland and the border. What are you guys doing there? Right, so um, this is from the California border up to uh, just south of Ashland. This is the concrete section uh, of I-5. It was put in in the, in the late 80s. And if you've driven up there, there's, there's rutting in the concrete due to chains and studded tires. Sure. Uh, and there's exposed uh, concrete, exposed rebar, uh, steel rebar in that. So we have a, a th actually it's a three-year project um, where uh, our contractor is going to be uh, diamond grinding the concrete uh, so that it's profiled better, so to get rid of the ruts. Uh, and so they'll, with that, there'll be some uh, single lane closures. There'll be at least uh, one crossover uh, at a time. And that's probably the first year. And then the second and third years, we're gonna be uh, replacing the decks on the bridges there at uh, exit six. And so that's a little more involved than what we're seeing, we'll be seeing on the viaduct this year. So, uh, so when you're driving through that area, especially our visitors this summer, um, you'll see some slower moving traffic, you'll okay. see some probably some queues because of the trucks. And of course, this is in a snow zone, so the work uh, time period is basically you know June through the end of September. So we have okay. a pretty focused area. So that needs to be repaired, and, and we're going to do that. Will there this be summer. closures in there? There won't be any. Well, there'll be okay. some lane closures, but okay. traffic will continue to move. Sure. But I'm just saying because on holiday weekends and so forth, yeah. if we get a, a big influx of traffic, there may be some some delays through that area. Okay, and I do want to ask you about uh, Hooskin Aid and the slide over there uh, near Brookings. Uh, not necessarily your territory, but I know you're familiar with it right. uh, with ODOT in Southern Oregon here. Um, you guys are, are doing some more work on there. Right. So. So with the slide, um, 
that occurred in, uh, in February. Uh, we were able to uh, just get that paved back to two lanes uh, just, I believe it was the, about a week and a half ago. So uh, we'll have a project this year where we'll go in and uh, kind of get up into the area where the highway originally was and then um, rebuild the highway to the three lane section that it once was. So uh, it shouldn't affect traffic uh, because we're obviously, you know, the highway took a walk uh, down downhill. So, mm -hmm. um, but, there, but it will be a work area. And that's fairly typical for the South Coast. Uh, on any given um, month of the year, we've always, always have some kind of road work that we're doing on uh, 101. There's either, you know, sunken grades or we're, we're losing that highway to a degree just because of the geology there. But, mm -hmm. but this will be through the summer, through the end of October, to put uh, 101 back at, there at Huskanaden, uh, back to three lanes. Okay, good to see you. Thanks okay. for coming. Appreciate Take care. it. Be safe. Stay with us. We'll be right back.